Well, hello there. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, we'll be continuing the Mega Mecha Melee event. Last time we started it, uh, and I realized I had no voice acting, so I'm pretty disappointed in that. However, we did start, we did get a few quests done, and we did do some event activities as well. So we're pretty far in the event. I think we may be able to finish it in just one or two more videos. Um, so that's very cool. Also, last time I tested a new audio uh, recording, how I record audio. I was able to record the audio, both voice audio and game audio at the same time, which reduces reduces um, editing. So I need to don't need to edit the audio. But also it reduces uh, the file movement because I would have to move the file to a separate uh, computer where I'll edit it and then upload it. But now I can actually just upload the video straight from this, from uh, the video straight from uh, this computer just because I don't need to uh, deal with the audio editing. So hopefully that works well. I didn't notice last time that my game was like lagging. I don't know if the lagging is something that happens normally or if it's something that happens now that I ha I'm using the mic. Um, I didn't really notice my game lagging. So that's very weird. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing if the game lags. Again, I I find it hard to believe that the game lags because of my mic. But right now I've been uh, walking around in like circles and my game has not lagged for me. So um, my game has been going at like a constant, I don't know, is this 60 frames per second? Has been going constantly at 60 frames per second. There has been no hiccups. There has been no jarring like uh, uh, frame drops. So hopefully like, yeah, I don't, hopefully there isn't any frame drops on the video. And if there is, it might have something to do with the mic. I don't know. I haven't noticed it before. But anyways, let's start uh, way two days later. So to continue with the event, we have to wait two days later. Let's see. Uh, there's two more parts of the story and there's one more event activity for currency. And then that's it, we're done. So last time we did one part of the story and two activities. This time, uh, we'll see how far we can get. This event might be short enough that I might be able to finish it in two days. Or I'm not, not two days, but two videos. Last video was only 45 minutes long and I was talking at the beginning of that video for like, I was just rambling about audio. In this video, I rambled the first few minutes about audio too, so. Let's just get straight into it. Go to the shops, the show workshop you'll receive another uh missive from the workshop you feel like it's not not all is proceeding to plan all right arbin let's go what do you gotta say the feedback on the board doesn't look right shouldn't we be receiving not by high praise it wasn't like this before quite unexpected yes i suspect foul play fortunately our boss has in his wisdom prepared a contingency plan well of course he has why else do you think he's our boss? Arvin, Arbre, and is Levre he, he in? He's got something for us, apparently. All right on time. Here comes the contingency now. What contingency? Well, that's you. That's what our boss said, but he's not here right now. So let us explain. Just a short explanation once again. During the last two days, we released the results of our champion duelist plan to the. We released our plan to the public. We also started pre-orders that will allow people to pay half the price as a deposit and thus qualify for early access. We have also placed a evaluation column, that is to say, the message board at the door of our store, upon which people could leave their profuse praises. That is what they call hi building hype. Just as the boss expected, our store really did get very popular, but very few people placed pre-orders and the amount of praise left on in the order column has been lamentably low. You lack sincerity. This. Where's the internal quality control that? Get with the times. Such are the reviews we've gotten. Looks like the market wasn't quite what you expected, huh? I fear things are not that simple. Or not so simple. We have, we have a saying around here that where there's smoke, there's fire. That is to say that something never arrives from nothing. In other words, someone is spreading rumors. Dun, dun, dun. Baseless. Uh, spaceless, scurrilous, scurrilous rumors that smeared us. That smears us. That smear, that smear us irresponsibly. 
that irresponsibly invent that irresponsibly that irresponsibly invent disparaging fiction and defamatory fabrications. The boss is saying that his brother is their only. Okay, so these guys are not brothers. It's the boss and then the clock worker man who are brothers. Got it. Who can smear behind or who who, who can be behind the smear campaign? La parte harglebleb is the is has the most to be worried about if this plan succeeds. After all, so what what do you want to do? Hire us to smear them right back? They free no above. How could you ever think such a thing? Our boss is Car Carbon's elder brother. After all, if they might stoop to such low and vulgar and vulgar means, you will feed, defeat them fair and square. Exactly. Only in this way can the older brother reform his wayward little brother. What are we needed for in that case? To get them to reveal, to reveal what it means by sincerity and internal quality control, of course. Reveal what now? Is that not fair? Is and is Fontaine not the nation of fairness? That's not. That's not what fairness means. The boss said that since everyone thinks, everyone seems to think that. The other party's packaging has been done with sincerity. We should keep pace with them. We shall package our champion duelists as they package adventures. Adding to our wealth of data will guarantee us a comeback victory. Packaging? No, they just turn an adventure tale into a toy, that's all. But, oh, that must be it. Please ask them what it is. The story must be the packaging we speak of. I too have heard a little something. It seems that while Karen, 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 was drunk, he accidentally let slip that this toy was made due to a certain person. Imagine what a grand tale they must have shared to inspire such words from him. Hmm, really? You know, you know, Clizzard. I'm suddenly kind of curious as to what that story might be. Why don't we try go back, going back and asking? Will you? Oh, splendid, splendid. We shall leave this in your capable hands, Miss Paimon, Miss Clizzard. Ah. Uh -huh. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Did you ask the story? I'm counting on you. Alright. Now see what the story is. It's about Bennett, right? Can I walk in here? Let me try. I'm trying, guys. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I... All right. Nope. Can't can't go in there. <laughs> Hello again, dear cousin. How have you been? Have you tried out the Avenger toy, by the way? Hey there, Karen. Actually, we've got some things we want to consult you about. And yeah, it's about the toy. Oh, a happy coincidence then. I enjoy those like a fortuitous opportunity to nap or just have. Or just happening to be enough more to buy what you'd ask, you'd like to ask away. I'd like to hear the story behind this toy. The other night we heard that you based this toy on someone. It's got to be an adventure who's the star of this tale, right? Oh, I see. That's your question. Well, the adventure did indeed have leave a deep impression on me. I met an adventure in Springvale when I was about to leave Mondstadt. It appeared that he messed up some sort of meal delivery. Ah, <laughs> oh, this hits. This hits home. The meal delivery commissions. I uh, I have Yalon and I run Double Animal, and so I always zoom through the meal delivery commissions. And even though I zoom through it, some people still say that I come too late. How am I coming too late when I'm using C1 Yalon with Double Animal? All right, there's just no way. Maybe I need to roll for Linny's bow so I move faster. I don't know. Apparently he had some. He, apparently he had encountered several waves of monsters on the way there, and not only had he missed the timing, but the food has been bumped around. About knowing a thing or two about cooking, I help him make a new serving. Well, that sure was nice of you. Well, but that's not all. You might find it hard to imagine, but that one attempt at cooking resulted in all manners of accidents. The firewood got wet, a big hole, a big hole got gorged, got gogged, gorged at what is that word? At the bottom of the pot, and where I, I was plating up, I was hit by some flying stones. From out of nowhere, <laughs> one of them even bounced onto my head. Now that really hurt. Well, the job did eventually get done, albeit with the complaint from the customer that they had cracked a two 
on the stone while eating. Later free and above. Surely it wasn't the stone that hit my hit on my head. Hit us on the head. So was the adventure name Bennett? That was his name. Wait. Do you do you two know him as well? Interesting fellow that one. Later he took me he took me to all sorts of rarely visited place in Monset to show his thanks. It was a pretty rough journey, but the uncommonly beautiful sights made it worth the effort. I would have taken him to I would have taken him for a travel enthusiast had he not told me that he had discovered this place by losing his footing during adventuring, during adventures, or from getting lost. On that day, on the day of my return to Fontaine, he came to say goodbye, and there I asked him if he considered his unlucky disposition bothersome. He gave me a thumbs up and said the world is full of all sorts of people, and maybe I just happen to be the unluckiest. But thanks to that, I've also become the bravest person. And that's given me access to sights only I can see. What a brilliant way of putting things. Walking the path of misfortune with a big smile on one's face. Perhaps that's the spirit of a true adventure. That's right, Ben. It's the most adventurous adventure for sure. <clears throat> if bad luck can be infectious, perhaps that adventuring spirit can be too. And with any luck, the latter can spread from further than the former. Then the latter can, far, can spread far further than the former. Well, huh, I wonder, will this story give you enough material for your report? Huh, how did you figure that one out this time? Where's there smoke, there's fire. That's what they say in Fontaine. If you really want to know about the story, you have to, you, you'd have asked the first time. But since you're only doing it now, I can only guess that my brother put you up to it. So you really didn't know, huh? You know, Paimon doesn't get why... Livre would have such a dim view of you. You're pretty smart and you seem like a nice guy. It's anger. I think he's probably still mad at me for what he sees as a betrayal. Huh? Betrayal? Our family is well known for our skill of making clockwork devices. I've always been good at making toys of that sort. And while my brother isn't quite as good, he's got a real knack for business. Since we both love toys, we agreed that when we grew up, we'll set up the best toys store ever but it was only when we grew up that we realized that someone had to succeed the family business that is this shop my brother had a big fight with our father over that and he went to strike out on his own i on the other hand was convinced to stay is that not a betrayal oh so they both wanted to uh, own a toy shop but then they had to they had to take over uh, father's business and so this guy took over father's business and the other one was left with no partner for a toy shop. I think I get it. Oh, does that really count though? Well, it wasn't a show of adventurousness, that's for sure. I was afraid that if I failed to make a name for myself out here, out there, I have to come back out, have to come back crawling to the family business. So I couldn't take that pressure. I've always been like that. I'd be the first to cry when we encounter some hooligans on the street, but my brother would have. Me get behind him with a big, don't worry, watch me send him flying with my knuckle sandwich. Your relationship seems kind of complicated. Well, I suppose that's how things play out, eh? In any case, I'll be here if you have any other questions. We're always, you're always welcome here in my store. Do you have any other questions? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's, that's that. I don't know how that has anything to do with packaging. Yeah, I don't, uh, y you know, I mean, cool story and all, but like, how is that going to help these guys? No idea. Boss, our two guests have returned. Look, as ever I see, I suppose you gain much from your investigations. Huh, you know, Lyra, Lyra, why do you always show up later? Huh, well, I suppose I am remiss. I, I shall strive to come earlier next time anyways about that toy you tell livre about bennett he frowned a toy based on adventure named bennett i see another thing he didn't we didn't ask him but palmer thinks your brother didn't badmouth your shop he didn't look like the type oh how so he seemed really sorry he seemed to be very he seemed to be sorry about something concerning you 
You pass Karen's word on Liver's gaze pass through you to what seems to be a place in in the in in, 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 in well, after a while a dissatisfied noise struck okay tr okay I was not able to read that. Hmm. If you ask me, I don't think that that idiot would do something like that either. Wait. So what was this whole contingency thing about? The boss just the boss just the boss was just looking for an excuse, I suppose. More likely than not, I say. <laughs> well, he is a businessman. Businessmen have reputation to consider. And he and he's the big brother, is he not? A big bird got a name to uphold, you know? Say no more. I'll or you'll eat my knuckle sandwich. Wait, what? Ha uh, leverage exactly what Karen said he'd be like. Well dear guess I was just thinking that I should go pay that idiot a visit. Huh? Are you gonna put your differences aside and go ask him for advice then? Of course not. But if you think he betrayed me and feels bad about it, shouldn't I give him the opportunity to apologize to my face? He did say that. Well, Pamon, shut up, but be capitalized. But Pamon doesn't think that that's the sort of betrayal someone needs to apologize for. See, see now this that that makes sense. The last one did not make sense, but this one that that makes sense. Well, it's decided, Arbin. There's no need for. Any further pre-orders, return all the pauses as needed and keep the value, keep that evaluation to abort. What boss? So we're not executing the plan anymore. What about the data collection? There's still time. There's still time to make adjustments. No, the data collection continues. I have other plans for that, but I've got payment. But you've got payment to collect, don't you? I always do honest business. Suspiciously honest in this case. Uh, the boss is the boss, even when he's being stubborn. Huh, I wouldn't call his attitude towards toys completely worthless. I'll pay a visit to La Parte Horlogare Gare one, once the next two days of data collection are complete. I'd like you two to come to good customers. I got some things to sell here in the shop, so if you'll excuse me. Livray's got Got such an odd temper. He's not really going to ask for an apology, is he? Well, you look at that, our third party has bought about an opportunity for change once again. Third party? As the two of you, of course, thanks to you, the difference between the two shop owners may yet to, may yet be resolved. That's what happened previously. Previously? Ah, have you noticed how the shop is separated from have you noticed the shop separated? From the and, and, and by Northland Bank, boss originally wanted to set up shop next to 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 whatever to complete with them directly. Now I doubt that they knew about boss history when they reserved that space, but in some way they became a mediator in the conflict, didn't they? That's super interesting. The facility love to meddle in people's business, but this sort of meddling's a first for sure. But that's the importance of third parties, like how, just like how a double act still needs an audience. Well, what about solo acts? Would things work out just one actor and one audience? Wait, are you trying to betray me too? You better watch out for my knuckle sandwich then. The armistice, two more days. Let's see, evaluation board seems like some of those clockwork penguins. Saw it. So the one, the, so it's the one that talks about wanting to get to know, okay. I saw it, it's the one that talks about wanting to get to know uh, from Fremine, right? Sounds like someone would like to strike up a further collaboration, if you ask me. Fremine? Oh, you were talking about the clockwork penguins on the table. A diver named Fremine made them and he placed them in on a store as a consignment. Good lad with a pretty face, soft spoken fellow, but he's really good at making toys. See a little melancholy though, like someone who lack like someone who lacks something that should have belonged to him. I know that look. I or I know that look, you know. It's the same one Arbin makes when he looks at his empty wallet. Doesn't suppose Fremenet's in need of more, do you? Oh ridiculous. He even discussed the profit split. He didn't even discuss profit split when he came to talk about the consignment. He wasn't in it for Nomura. Chew. What else would trouble a lad of his age? Yeah, he's a winsome fellow too. I haven't seen the boss ever approve of a consignment. He not 
only offered to set up outdoor software at Penguin, but even proposed a 50 50 split on the earning. Unfortunately, one could only call the sales middling. Many of you came to look, sure, but there aren't many buyers. The toy is very, the toy has a very intricate, is very intricately designed, but I'd say it also makes it hard to play with and hard to fix. Really, I don't expect anyone to leave a message about it in the board. Maybe there's a big client. Eh? Either way, we you tell the boss about it, wouldn't it would won't won't do to miss out on some good deals, you know? Yeah. Penguinos. Wait, where's the message board? Hello? I don't even see the message board. Apparently it's Northland Bank. Alright, well that finishes the second part of uh Mega Mecha Melee. Let's see if we can start trying to No, we can't. Wait, I have to complete the world quest. Aqueous Tide Marks to begin the, this part. Oh, you know. Okay, well. Potentially we'll do that on camera. Potentially not. Okay, it doesn't look like I can finish this quest on camera. Or this event on camera. So, because I have to do a world quest to do this. Alright, a toy war and amethyst. While the battle between clockwork... Will the battle between clockwork workshop and clock... The end clock shop. Will the battle between clock work workshop and clock shop, the wall between two brothers, dissolve when the two bosses meet, or will the conflict grow even, will grow more intense? All right. Well, I, I didn't realize that last time. Oh man, I have to do a world quest just to do the event. Oh, that's so lame. But we'll do it. Again, don't know if I'll do that world quest on camera. It depends on how interesting it is. But, I mean, I'll try recording it on camera. And if I find it interesting enough, I'll, I'll, I'll upload it to YouTube. If I don't find it interesting, then we'll just, uh, you'll never see it. And, uh, yeah, I'll just do all that off camera. Oh, man. I was tr really hoping I can complete the event on camera. Everything on camera. You know, today's supposed to be the day where Larry goes to pay Karin a bit. I can't read. Why, why does it go so fast? Uh, anyways. Here, right? I see you're doing well, Karen. Oh, but brother, what are you doing here? We haven't seen each other so long, and that's what you choose to say? I, I, I just didn't expect you to come over to see me. I mean, our shop are quite close together, but you never came over. Uh, you were so angry with me. I hear, I'm not here to talk about what happened before. I'm just going to ask you this. That adventure toy was made because of me, right? Huh? Uh, huh. I knew I wouldn't be able to hide it, to hide anything from you. Well, wait. Now Pyman is confused. Wasn't the toy inspired by Bennett? Uh, you s I see you two have arrived as well. I'm sorry for not explaining previously. But I didn't know where to begin. Although that adventure did give me cru uh, critical inspiration, my brother was the real reason I, I insisted on having the toy made. I see why it might be complicated for you. I don't, I don't really get what was so difficult all this time. I'm gonna say that I actually don't get why it was difficult. That's all my brother for twisting himself in, about into loops over everything. You haven't changed either, brother. I'm more and more convinced that you and that adventure are the same type of person. I don't have a vision, nor am I an adventure. But you have the same adventure spirit. Bennett lives in an adventure. Well, you live for adventure. Did you put that flattery up f from me too? How can that be? You've never been a flatterer. You never hesitated to tell me that I haven't any fighting spirit. And while the truth is frustrating, it is the truth nevertheless you've always been trying to you're always you've always been trying to be the best toy merchant ever but i acceded to the family's arrangement continuing the cycle of clock making only people like you and bennett can turn their passion into a profession i cannot it would take a hundred of me to match your courage come on don't say that about yourself you have no point in hiding this. When my brother first stated his intentions to move his shop next to mine, my first reaction was to consider moving the shop. Father would be ashamed, and rightly so. 
But in the end, the Northern Bank took that spot and separated us. A happy coincidence again, you could say. Hmm. <laughs> Arvin told us about it. Hmm. Do you really think that the world is so full of happy coincidences that the Northland Bank would just just so happen to come between us all the time? What do you mean, Livre? I had reserved that spot long ago, but a new idea struck me, so I transferred it to them for a low price. This didn't just come out of nowhere, you know? Wow, so he was the one who did it so that it would be less awkward between the brothers. So you're the one who got, who got them involved, huh? Did you think that your pre a previous decision was too impulsive or something? Ever since I left, my goal has always been to be the greatest toy merchant, but th that but what sort of greatness would that be if the family feud made my brother move away in the process, huh? Mm-hmm, <laughs> that smells like concern to Paimon. You were just making excuses when you wanted when you said you warned Karen to apologize, weren't you? Apologize? What apologize? Did I ever say that? Wow. That's a really earnest denial, considering that you actually just did, uh, considering that you actually did say it. Huh. I'm here to congratulate you, Karen. That toy is quite well made. Huh. It's been such a long time since I've last heard a word of praise from you, brother. I didn't think that. I also brought you a gift. Here's the data I had th these two adventures gathered over the last few days. This should help you create something even more interesting. Huh? But weren't you going to make a toy champion do this? That data is important to you, right? Your plan is suspended. The market shifted faster than I thought, so some ad hoc adjustments will be necessary. But this data, how, how could I just take it? You take it when I give it to you, obviously. Huh. In that case, I'll take it for safekeeping. Feel free to reclaim it, should you ever need it again. Home, so Liv Ray's other plan was to give the data to his brother. I apologize, dear customers, that I did not, that I did not ask for your suggestions first before doing this. Oh, it's fine, you paid us, didn't you? And this is a, and this is your personal matter. This was totally worth it if your relationship with your brother can be improved, right, Clizzard? You're an honest businessman too. Huh, guess, this was a successful third-party intervention. Alright, Livery Karen, since you're all here, why don't you strike while the iron's hot and work together on something? You're good at making stuff, Karen, and you can have Lyre do the advertising. If you do it as a team, I'm sure it'll work out. I appreciate your good intentions, but there's no need. Helm, I feel the same way. Wait, so this is what you two are going to agree on? That Bennett fellow said this too, didn't he? The world is full of all sorts of people. So you did remember that part. The world is full of all sorts of people, and they all have their sights. The world is full of all sorts of people, and they all have sights that only they can see. But there anything from him at all, this would be it. Karen and I are just different people, which is why we've set out on different paths. Perhaps he thinks that my path is to adventure, and I, for my part can't stand the kind of placid existence he leads. That's right, if the hour hand does the minute hand's work, it will get fired without compensation the next day. And while intense challenges are an adventure, it, and while intense challenges are an adventure, is a simple life not one as well, everyone's on their own journey of adventure. And since we've each chosen our direction, let's walk down the path and seek our own unique sights. And I'll occasionally go meet with you. After all, your road will be quite difficult. Pfft. Don't you worry about me. At least I know how to enlist third parties to help me out of jams. I didn't sit around waiting for these adventures or Northland Blank. Let me tell you that. And what will you do when there's a problem that even a third party can't solve? I'm sure you know how the stiff know that know how the stiffer the gear is the less durable it will be i worry that and if we meet we'll meet what else can we do huh that's just life no you won't be defeated by life just like bennett and if things prove otherwise yeah then i'll beat it with a knuckle sandwich 
way he's gonna say it. I'll send you flying with our knuckle sandwich. I knew it. How Brad, listen to yourself. Talking to your big brother like that. Don't get too cocky. Well, if Lena Farina can sit at the judge's desk for a while, then the little brother can borrow his big brother's lines, huh? Right? I guess. Huh, I see you figured us spontaneous out. I'd like to ask you something. So if you're free, let's meet outside my shop later. That's all I have to say today, Karen. I'll be heading back now. Why are these people's skin color so white? Like, they're like... Look at how pale they are! Like, I think, like, Yelon is one of the more paler characters. Look at her compared to these people! Like, these people are genuinely ghosts. Yeah. If we're comparing them to Yelon. Because Yelon is, like, the most pale, in my opinion, of all the characters. My goodness. Haven't gone back, have you? Well, I must thank you. I'm sure father would be pleased that my brother and I finally spoke. Uh huh. Well, hup, well, seems like everything has mended together with those two guys. Let's see what Elifre has to say. You're here. Well, you seem to be in good mood. Thanks to your help, speaking of which, Karen's trip to Mossack gave me an idea. Perhaps I should go travel around for a bit and find some inspiration for toys myself. You travel the world. You probably know some friends like that, Bennett. Do you have any suggestions for me? Well, we do have a lot of friends, but when it comes to toy inspiration. That might be a bit tough. Why not look for a third party? Hmm? We're a valid third party, aren't we? Are you referring to the Northland Bank? Oh, you mean the previous third party? Oh, let me think. The Northland Bank under Futuri and the Futuri under... Are you referring to Heartbringer? Do you mean that we can make a toy themed after a Heartbringer? Huh? Quizzer, do you mean... Oh, Paimon gets it? Huh, Liver, did you know that there's... That there's a very special heartbreaker whom they call the the greatest toy salesman in Chesnaya. What? Is there such a person? Of course, he's a real expert too. Maybe he'll inspire you. And you know, a toy merchant and a seller would make a pretty awesome combo, don't you think? Thanks for the suggestions. Uh, they've been very helpful. I don't think it would be easy to get in contact with a heartbreaker, but I do have some connections at Northern Bank. I'll see what I can do. Huh, don't forget to invite us to try whatever new toy you come up with. I'll, I will. Keep an eye out for news from me. I'll inform you if my efforts at the Northern Bank bear any fruit. Arvin and Albre don't seem to be in today. They took leave so that they have new ideas for toys. Weird if you ask me. They usually can't think of anything but their favorite com but their favorite comedies. Forget about any thoughts about toys. What this change of heart is about, I couldn't guess. Ah, interesting. I wonder if that would actually bear any fruit. Uh, it's weird that we're trying to help out child. The child is the greatest toy maker because it's all about his his, bro his little brother. Child has a little brother and uh, yeah, the little brother likes toys. So if child can actually make some toys, uh, that would be pretty sick. Like actually make some toys and not like run around presumably killing people. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That was the event. That was the uh, Mega Mecha Melee event. Again, can't really do uh, Trencho Turbulent Charge, which is unfortunate. Because that requires me to be... Yeah, I can't even get Bennett. So I need to do that world quest in order to... In order to get Bennett. Which is a bit unfortunate here. But yeah, I think... I think we can... I mean, I'll try. I just want to collect some goodies on camera here. But let's take a quick peek at that uh, world quest at that uh, world quest and uh, again this video is a bit on a shorter side so I can go ahead and start that uh, world quest and if I find it interesting enough we might continue that in another video if not then yeah this might be the last of what you see about this event on my main account at least I'm like why is this world quest marked this whole time that world quest has been marked as well as the archon quest which makes sense but the world quest has been marked so let's see 
Yeah, let's see. I don't know how long it will take. But let's start it, at the very least. I must say, the weather today is simply wonderful. You're quite beautiful. You're quite the beautiful young lady, Virgil, at your service. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm Clizzard and my companion is called Paimon. Hello, Virgil. Oh, such elegant names. Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. It's a true, it's truly an honor to meet the two of you here. Paimon can't stand much of this. Uh, can't stand much more of this. How did you know we're not from Fontaine? Hmm. With a glance, it's obvious that you've unsieve that you're unsi- Huh? Uh-huh. That you're unsatisfied with being bathed in the soft light of the city, but feel the call of the wild, which will never be illuminated by bright city lights. Yes. Just like the heroes in the opera. Oh, that's totally true. Clizzard is an adventure too. Add Astro Abyss Sauce and all that jazz. Ha, I knew him. Those adventure guilds are- Beg, beg, are beggarly, beggarly, uh, courageous warriors begging with all their hearts to unlock the deepest mystery of the world. They wake with their eyes to the stars above and sleep with their backs into the abyss below, where there is an unknown domain. There's an adventure you simply must explore, bravely bursting beyond the brim. I can't not help but notice how the gaze how your gaze is focused on those things. Perhaps you wish to study our sublime arts, our intricate clockwork mecca, or our advanced civic culture. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Amazing! Pom didn't even know the decoration, but Pom did notice that Fontaine has a lot of delicate, delicious food that she'd never seen anywhere else. Not bad, isn't it? I had a long and glorious tradition of we have we have a long and glorious tradition of gourmet culture in Fontaine. Naturally, too, most <laughs> most often take your meals in the great outdoors, and thus are unfortunately limited to your abilities to sample the the bread of Fontaine's superb cuisine. Unable to experience the luxurious richness that is leisurely afternoon tea with a few pastries. I'm listening. More ec most excellent, you two exceptional friends. Have you heard of the Lalia Cruz treasure? Nope, haven't heard of it. Then please allow me to explain this a legend of the lost treasure that has been passed down in Fontaine for centuries. There, once there was a secret society called the L Lalia Cruz Forum, Forum that was able to attract a great many of rich and uh, of the rich and influential. Though they humbly called themselves a forum, their actual plan was to overthrow Fontaine itself. In the end, their conspiracy was exposed and the pie cough the distinguished members of the forum engaged in a filling battle with the um, Mason Gardenage that were ultimately defeated in a cinematic showdown. However, my dear friends, you must know that they were once the richest and most famous of all Fontaine, and they must have gathered a tremendous amount of wealth. Yes, they definitely did, and they must have a huge treasure vault somewhere. When you open it, whoa, it's overflowing with nothing but gold, like shining like the sun. Correct, they wish to overthrow our beautiful Fontaine, and to do so, they must have a massive fortune, so vast that they could literally be said to have more money than Morax. I'm pretty sure, like, literally everybody has more money than Morax. However, this wealth was never found. Oh, sorry, it means that as long as we can find the Lalia Cruce treasure, we'll also be filthy rich. Excellent deduction, my dear Paimon. With a fortune in the control of the Synthae, cough. Anyway, after a lengthy investigation, I have discovered the location of the Lilia Crusades Forum headquarters. It can be found amid the underwater ruins outside the city. Really? What do you think, my dear Paimon Clizzard? I hereby sincerely extend my invitation to the both of you to become my partners and dive beneath the waves and search for the lost treasure. Um, even though Fontaine's water is there for everywhere else, Paimon can never forget how she was drowning before before being rescued by you. Never fear, I am here. Well, you say you'll save Paimon for sure. Now says it, please allow me to prepare diamond equipment for the two of you. Hmm. I shall have to correct sizes. There's no need. Oh yes, I remember vision holder may die freely in our waters, but if that's you but if it's you, dear Clizzard, of course I have no doubt you I do not doubt your abilities. Clizzard is a famous adventure and she must 
be very aware of your limits. But it just so happens that I do not share the same capability, so I'll have to rely on our homegrown, te homegrown technology to keep myself alive. Be that as it may, shall we begin? Yes, please lead the way. Your wish is my command. People follow me. Our destiny is not far in front of the court of Fontaine. You arrive with a virgin out of place that seems a bit deserved, but a virgin is wearing something. Okay, couldn't read it. Well, it looks very heavy, so hot and stuffy. Actually, we can place Miss Fowl wrapped in cloth inside the lower temperature, lower temper. As as for the weight, well, just put it underwater. No time for delay. Let's go, my friends. There's people outside my window. Okay. Wait. Where is it? Uh. Which? Oh, I don't know which one it was. Oh, uh, not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Is it dilemma? No. Is it this one? No. Wait. Where is it? Uh, oh. Oh. Aqueous trine marks. <laughs> um. All right, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be some exploration underwater to do this world quest. So again, I'll probably record it. My throat's killing me, so I have to take a break for now. But I'll probably record it, and then we'll see if uh, I rec I have, if um you know it's if any good. Obviously, I mean the game was a hiding that Virgil is incredibly suspicious. I don't know why he wants, um, I don't know why he wants us to, uh, help him, but it's very strange. It's very strange indeed. I, I don't feel like he has good intentions. And, I mean, I shouldn't say I don't feel like it. I mean, the game makes it obvious that he doesn't have good intentions. But yeah, anyways, today, again, we finished the story of the Mega Mecha Melee event. That's good. And, you know. I think, all in all, again, it's like Graven Innocence. Literally, the Graven Innocence was was toys, right? It was making toys. So this, this event, honestly, is similar in that manner. A short one. Wish it had voice acting, because it didn't, which was made me talk and it was pretty lame. But yeah, it's a little bit of a, uh, a fun one. A little bit of a fun one, but yeah, nothing too major. But anyways, next time, um... Yeah. We'll be playing more Genshin. Again, don't know if we're going to be continuing this quest. Probably. Probably continuing this quest. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And yeah. So, thank you for watching. You're beautiful the way you are. And I'll see you next time.